Are you with me? How do you see this fight, Amazon Tom? I've been waiting to hear your take. Fury versus Usyk. Where do you rank the 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 fight? You know, and um, and the fight, the fight in the last five years. Let's say last five years with last five. The fight in every division in the last five years. Where do you rank this fight right here in top ten? Well, my brother, thank you so much for another opportunity we have to go on air for our people to understand that the love and passion we have for the sport of boxing. You have been doing tremendous job over the years, and I think uh, it's going to be a year for us to be rewarded in the channel. Bro, can you believe it's, uh, been, it's, been, it's, been, over, it's, been, doing... it's been over seven years now, going to eight years now. <laughs> oh, this... Our community. Oh, I just thought about it, bro. I was like, fuck, man, damn, over seven, going to eight years now. That's huh? why I salute you. <laughs> I salute you. I salute you, Faye. <laughs> uh, my brother, Ty, you guys have been doing a fantastic job. Uh, we'll come back to that. But um, before I just dive straight to the fight, um, I want to say that if you have your pen, your paper, you will understand that May 18 was another historic day in boxing after 25 years of no undisputed, yesterday was the day to be recognized in the history. Of course, you cannot recognize yesterday without remembering men that make that event to happen. So my special thanks will go to Saudi Arabia, um, the, 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 His Excellency, Alasi, he did very well. He threw boxing politics behind and help make that fight happen i thank him so much after doing that i moved straight to i used to congratulate alexander yusek because uh he has joined the round of jack dempsey who was undisputed in 1926 he has joined the round of lennox lewis who was the last undisputed heavyweight champion i congratulate that young man he did us proud back to the spots back to what happened yesterday uh it was a very great showdown it went out as we predicted the fight went on as we said we've been waiting for this fight for so many years yesterday everyone had opportunity fury was right there alexander was right there but the best man won Fury made a lot of blunders. Blunders. He had the fight in his hands. Being a gypsy has always been. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what went on in his mind. Round one could have gone either way. You see me? Round two could have gone either way. But what I don't understand about Fury is he had the tools to defeat uh, 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 you say he had the tools he had the long hands but he was playing how dare you go to do uh, showboy sh when you've not even done anything in the field in, in, in the ring that's what happened yesterday so my special thanks really get to Alexander Yusek who did very well he went through ankles he was sending it everywhere and made it a remembrance day so thank you my brother i give thanks to alexander you say i pause for now thanks brother for your take and uh well the rematch we heard the rematch uh, has to take place by september i uh, know october however frank warren is not sure about the rematch taking place anytime soon so that is something very unusual um, what do you make of that, bruv? <laughs> um, I don't know. I always predicted that Alexander Yusek would win the fight. There's so many factors which I gave. I wanted Yusek to win the fight. One, so that we'll see heavyweight champion coming back alive as been going alive for some days now. Because I knew if uh, Fury had won the, won the match, that would have been the end of heavyweight division. It would have been noise everywhere and he would have eventually relinquished the belt and walk away. 
you, you can understand that i always say this with no hatred please this is pure sincerity and pure boxing analysis tyson fury has always been the guy that comes to harvest from the sweat of others when they when when the heavyweight division goes tougher you're not going to see tyson fury when Tyson Fury sits out and see how he can pluck him, he would jump in and get the harvest done and get the credit. He couldn't go his way yesterday. Yesterday, he had a practical time to have shown the world what he's made up of. But he fell. He had everything to have who could have won that fight favored Tyson Fury. He had everything. It was very easy to beat uh, uh, Alexander Usyk is very skillful. Yes, I know. But a skill with a, high, a man of height who is also skillful. Now, the less man with less advantage struggle to meet up. That's what happened yesterday. I wish Tyson Fury was able to utilize his long hands. He could have kept Alexander at bay. He could have kept then by the time he would have pushed Alexander at bay, Alexander would Alexander could have been forced to come through ankles, which is of course that uh, uh, whoever knows Alexander uh, uh Usyk, you know him that is an ankular fighter. He wins and beats in like three, four, five combinations through ankles within the twinkle of an eye before you know it. So when you keep him at bay, you'll be forced him not to stay in front of you, but to run around you. And when you run around you, all what you need to do, you're sitting your upper hook. I mean, you're sitting your, your left hook, your right hook. If he comes to the left, you go on the left hook. And when you throw in that left hook, you release your right hand for upper, upper court because it's going to go on the angle. And so when you tap on the left hook, you, you, you release your right hand with the upper hook. And that's, that's, that was the key. And then you keep him at bay. Keep him at bay. Keep him at bay. Keep him at bay. But who thinks you're going to win a fight with Jusek fighting backward, which is what uh, Fury did. So that's what really happened. So he was, I mean, look, the fight probably could have finished in round nine. Yes, he has to recover. Both the fighters, they gave their best. They have to recover before they talk about rematch. And there's something I want us to talk about I wanted to discuss with you about rematch, which we will discuss that maybe some other time. Let me not dive in today. But for the rematch, both of them suffered heavy beat down. So to talk about rematch immediately, uh, even Alexander Yusek said he wants to spend some time with his family, that he's been preparing for this fight for a very long time. Yes, I really want to see a rematch for this fight. Only if only if jury uh, uh fury will show but if he shows up he better make it a, the fight of his life because i still believe that fury can beat you say only if he can do what he's ought to do he can beat you say is not Usyk is a magician it's not difficult to beat he's just a skillful guy that make use of his legs and angles if you can stop his angular movement which you cannot then if you cannot stop his angular movement then you make sure you protect your straight protect your jab keep him on the jab keep him on your jab keep him on your jab let me keep circling you around don't let him keep circling you around but keep him keep him back and then shoot him take him under go to the body shot you could have had that fight done so a rematch probably would show, but let's see if how fast you will recover. I mean, uh, a few will recover. If he recovers on time, then we are expecting to see another big rematch. But if he doesn't recover on time, which I still doubt, I'm not even sure if Fury will come back and take a rematch. In the history of his boxing, apart from Deontay Wilder, he has never taken any rematch from nobody, except maybe Deontay Wilder and Chisora, and, and, and that's it. If I'm wrong, I may be wrong. Fury is not a guy that takes rematches, especially if he wins, unless 
he wins you 100 percent sure he's going to beat you again he will take a rematch from you the good thing was if he had won that fight yesterday that could have been another burial for heavyweight division because heavyweight division i don't think in the next three four years you would have had anything undisputed being discussed my brother yeah um okay do you think maybe water took something out of fury because they had three fights and in those three fights <laughs> um yeah like it was not easy bro here we go again on this talk these guys wilder fury are the laziest heavyweight boxers we've ever had in the history to come these guys were meant for each other that's why they beat the shit out of each of them each other they beat the shit out of each other because they 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 they, they, they are made for each other they're companion fighters they do what they want to do opportunity helps them and they have wasted quick so when we talk about that, yes, Vada gave him a lot of good right hands. Yes, Vada did that. But at the same time, these guys has never really been in a tough competitive fight. You want to talk about Wilder? Who do you discuss that some other time? Does that mean? So when the day of a better fight, when the day to upgrade your fight to another level comes, you saw what happened to Wilder. When the day for you to upgrade to another Big name. You saw what happened, what has been happening to Tyson Fury. What, when he fight uh, Francis Ngannou, you saw what happened. He struggled to win that fight. Uh, what, 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 when Tyson Fury, when Tyson Fury fought, when Tyson Fury fought, uh, fought Otto Wallens. Can you remember that fight in 2014? When he fought Otto Wallens? He struggled before the victory was handed over to him. The fight should have been stopped. And who is Atta Wallen in the first place with the rank fighters? You understand me? So you see what I'm talking about. When the competition changes, forget about all the noise, gypsy noise, Sarin being the best, and then the boxing fans pronounce it because once the boxing fans and the boxing analysts it does not mean adopt you. No matter what you do, they will speak so good of you. Right from day one, I knew. I mean, I, I mean, I respect Tyson Fury very well. But I knew when the competition gets so high. That's why Tyson Fury is never going to take no fight with AJ. If anybody tells you that Tyson Fury is going to fight AJ, he lies to you. Let me explain this to you. Tyson Fury is the easiest fight for AJ. AJ could lose to Alexander. Uh, he could lose to Yusek. But AJ cannot lose to, to, uh, to, 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 to Fury. It's a perfect fight for a knockout from AJ. AJ struggles with shorter fighters. They do well with taller fighters. And Tyson Fury is one of the fighters that would not last up to five rounds with AJ. Unless not this AJ in this current form. Hmm. That's deep. That's deep, bro, from you. <laughs>